Hey, welcome to Brutally Delicious. I'm Bruce Moore. Today we've got a great show for you. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Um, I'll start. I'm Josh, I play guitar. Zach, I play drums. Um, Daniel, I play bass. And I'm Mike, I'm the front man. And we forgot the most important thing. What's the name of the band? Convictions. 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 Thank you very much. Today we're going to be making s'mores. I know it's, uh, it's summer. Also, National S'mores Day is coming up, so this is probably going to be great. It's nice and easy. And let's get to it. You guys are currently on tour. How's that going so far? It is so much fun. <laughs> Crowds have been good? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, been, uh, it's actually been really crazy. Um, yeah, crowds get really rowdy. It's every time. Uh, circle pits, mosh pits, pits sing alongs, pits. you name it. Good times. All right. So, your last release was like 2018 ish, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, less. Are you guys working on anything new? Um, we just dropped a new single with us, well, with me featuring right. it or as a new singer. So um, it just came out like what, a couple days ago? Okay. From this filming, yeah. Yeah. yeah a couple days ago. Oh, yeah. From, yeah. When you're writing, are you guys writing like with the live setting in mind, like how it's going to come across on stage, or are you writing the song just for a song's sake? Does that um, make sense? I'd say a little bit of both. Um, there's definitely like key parts of the songs where we're like, oh, like this is definitely going to translate well live. Like if it's like a breakdown or something like that, or a good sing along. But no, I, it's not the main focus. Mostly, we're just trying to get the lyrics and the music to kind of mesh well and you know deliver whatever the messages of the song and the feeling of it. That's yeah, most important. This last this last song that we just wrote is actually it was a pretty different process for mm -hmm. for us. It was because uh, we actually went with the producer. So we came with the song already and thinking that this is what it's going to be and he, he really kind of just dove in and changed some stuff up and so it was a lot different and kind of pushed ourselves to just create a really good banger of a song. Is it hard to give up control? Like the song that you guys have all written, is it hard to let a third party step in and tear it apart and rebuild it? Um, from, you know, from when we were right or in, from hearing of about you know us writing it and all that it was we were actually pretty flexible because um, we were like because who we were working with is a really big producer so um, we were kind of willing to just give that up to right. him and just let him let him have control which is really in the end that's really, still got to be a little vulnerable, there, vulnerable there, right? yeah, yeah there are some parts <laughs> there are some parts where it was like you know I was like ah, I don't want to change this and they're like oh this is cool or I want to do this and they, and he was like no. Right. You just kind of trusted his yeah. vision at that point. You've yeah. given it to him. Yeah, and for me, like I, there was a he wrote he wrote a chorus, and then I I changed it, and uh, that was a little scary because I felt like I was being a little pushy, and I was I don't know. It was it was interesting. In the end, though, it's your it's your tune, right? It's your baby. Yeah, it's it's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So I know you you mentioned meshing instruments, instrumentation, and message. What kind of message do you want your fans to walk away with after listening to the Conviction the record or Conviction song? That's a big question. <laughs> uh, obviously, there's a lot of different like themes and, and uh, messages that we're trying to put through in our songs. Um, with Convictions, like we definitely have to be straightforward, but we also like to have a message that can be perceived in a different direction. Like if you're not Christian, for example, so. Um, yeah, like I definitely think we want to be firm and, and clear with our message, but there's so many different ones. That's a that's a big blanket Fair enough. question. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> when you guys are writing your music, are you writing like the old traditional way, like everybody banging riffs off each other, or is it more like emailing parts back and forth? Mm, now it's kind of like well, well, you know, coming into it, I they tell me stories about how they used to write, and it was kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that was Mike's phone. No. Anyways, um, from like hearing how they used to write, well, you you know how you guys used to yeah. write. Yeah, you guys used to write. <laughs> hey, you're the new guy. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm like, you guys used to write. I know. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think a lot of our older material is more of that like live jam band setting, just all in a room, just riffing. From what I've seen, um, but lately now, like we're all spread out now, so it's just a lot of bouncing ideas through mm -hmm. emails and. For me, I'm literally like singing on my like voice yeah. app on my phone. Like it's it's pretty primitive, but um, when we put everything in, like it it, it yeah, sounds the so way we, we want it. So right, we've just been writing. Uh, he'll give, I'll send ideas. He'll send ideas, and then uh, I kind of take it all and I'll mix it so that we have a right uh, interesting. 
you know, it's good sound. Now that you've done it both ways, do you feel that there's, a, I mean, obviously there's a difference, but I'm old school, probably a lot older than you guys, so I'm old school with the bouncing off each other. There was no digital stuff. And I think it's a little more organic when you do it. Hey, let's play this riff, and you're all in the jam space. Yeah. How do you... Um, I agree halfway. Um, yeah. It's definitely there's definitely a magic when you're just jamming in a room, right. you know. And I agree with that. For me, being like a lyricist, I like seeing the whole song from front to back. Right. It's easy for me to pick out parts and plug right. in. But no, you're definitely right. Like the whole atmosphere of jamming live is something yeah. that is really hard to duplicate. I mean, I get it. Everybody's spread apart now, and it's so easy to f send files. And probably it's more accurate, and you can make it tighter if you do it digitally. Right. But still, I don't know if you get that sway in that. You know, right, that, we, that vibe. Well, yeah, I mean, we kind of like had like with the we were writing the last one we were kind of working on. We kind of had like a little jam session mm -hmm. in the end because we were like, oh, we have to feel this out. So we like all came together and we were just we right. were just playing it. And so like we kind of do. It's like like yeah, half and half. Because in the end, you probably find things changing when you finally get into a, a yeah, session. Yeah, well, like, that doesn't yeah. work like it did. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. You change things on the fly. <laughs> oh yeah, like you can little like knick knack things like Zach, like our drummer, he'll add little fills or you know. Yeah. There's just little things that you can't really duplicate like what doing it through. Right. Oh, just a computer. Stuff. How does it make you feel? Probably another big question I keep jumping in. How does it make you feel when the power and the energy you envisioned writing that song wherever you are in the studio or comes to life on a live stage in front of a crowd? Um, how do I feel about it? I'm, yeah, I'm hitting <laughs> you with the big ones, right? <laughs> um, pretty good. Uh, it's, it's weird. Like Some songs, like we definitely write those big parts where we're like, this is going to pop live. And usually it does, but every now and then I find like stuff that I wasn't expecting to be like really impactful maybe it's a lyric that didn't translate well on paper and then it's like really great live like, it's such a it's you're just reaching into a hat at that point when it's okay. live but yeah. it usually I mean for me because this is like this is my first tour with them and then uh, first song with them which we, we've been playing live right so it's really for me it's like really satisfying to see it um, see it be translated live and then it act like the parts that are supposed to be those epic parts are pretty epic like right. live and it does translate pretty well that that makes me happy like it makes me really satisfied and i'm like like this little the breakdown will be coming up and i'm like oh here we go and like we'll just be having fun <laughs> right and i'm like oh here it is and, and then the crowd and, then it and, they're, and they're like right they're oh. right along with you right <laughs> yeah so it's <laughs> it's so that's fun that that's like i mean really, it's gotta be the big payoff right yeah yeah it's like it worked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's it's really sweet like that. All right, cool. What's up, mates? This is Ben versus Wild. We're about to make some smalls right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you grab, 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 crack it. <laughs> crack it. Oh, uh, but sometimes you gotta watch out because if you don't crack it right, you're gonna do what I just did and biffed it. But that's okay. It's a right first here. try. And first try, man. <laughs> So this is totally new for me. We're doing this in the oven. I've never made s'mores yeah, in the oven. Yeah, I've never done that before. That's like fancy. Yeah. We're doing some fancy cooking here for you he's guys. Gonna, he's, we're going to pull out a blowtorch and like <laughs> hit the uh, whatever it's called. Grab your so you're, chocolate. You're doing it the lame way. When I cook s'mores with my family, like they all do this. Uh -huh. Like what he's doing. Yeah. No way. You go two. Two and two. Two full blocks? Oh yeah, dude. Good grief. And then I do chocolate first. I just like one is good enough. Marshmallows. Me. Well, no, I'll do two. S'more, you gotta, bro, you gotta go big. You gotta go they big. got the special <laughs> s'mores marshmallows too. These are square. This is gonna be good. And then we just pop it on right there, huh? Like just like that. Is that where we're doing it? Well, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Just go cool. straight in the oven. I like to squish mine though, like that. Oh, see, then I break it every Rookie, time. You're such a new guy. Yeah, this <laughs> is me. <laughs> that's how it is. So now we gotta make s'mores for the rest of our camp, eh? We only have 30 <laughs> seconds. Oh, I wish Gordon Ramsay was here. Imagine Gordon Ramsay making you do it. Just yelling at us. Just yelling at you. Our host is very nice. <laughs> yeah. You should do one like that, though. Gordon that Ramsay. Funny. That would be pretty Just awesome. <laughs> well, you call this a s'more? This is garbage. This is, oh my See, god. Gonna... <laughs> wow. Look at, look at this. These are all my look s'mores. Just going big every time. Then we got That's basically a whole Hershey bar right there. Alright, so I'm just gonna finish this up. So I guess all I'm my gonna... s'mores are celebrity style. And then Brian's got the one little baby one. I got the luxury, man. These are all luxury s'mores here. 
this guy. Look at this sad. This is my favorite one. Just, Look at this one. just this little tiny little. Just all gram, no chocolate. Right, that's it. Would you consider yourself a hunter or a gatherer? Gatherer. <laughs> gatherer? Yeah, I hoard a lot of stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. That's I have a lot of true. weird collections. It's true. <laughs> um, um, I, can't, I don't know. That's such a. I uh, would say. I don't want to say gatherer because that's not. Oh, no, you're a gatherer, dude. Gatherer? Yeah, you have so much junk in the van. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that's, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you're a gatherer. I have like a big old back and, or a backpack, and I'm just like this, and it's just like has everything in there. So don't definitely dirty. a gatherer. He's a dirty dude. Definitely yeah. a gatherer. <laughs> All right, so I prefaced this conversation saying it was going to be a weird interview, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. How many square feet of pizza do you think are eaten in the U.S. each year? Ooh. Square feet? Square. In a year? Mm -hmm. In a year. Well over, probably 12 billion. I don't even know how much square feet, feet is. <laughs> 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 what, what's a square foot? A year? No, um... It's gotta be in the billions. I don't feel like I eat pizza that much. Really? Yeah. Man, that's that's like a, I think that's got its own food group in my life. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's like, like the top of the pyramid. It's not one of the main yeah. food sources. Really? That Being in the band, catering and pizza like go hand in hand. So it's you get sick of it? Oh God, yeah. If I see pizza one more time, just yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know that that has ever that statement has never crossed my lips. Pizza. I'm a, you can get sick of pizza. I'm a burger guy. So <laughs> really? I eat burgers a lot. So pizza. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, not that much. We're gonna end this interview then. I, I can't. I can't. I can't <laughs> He's like, all right, get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> all right. How many pennies do you think it would take to fill this room up? Oh wow. Man. We're gonna just say here where the lights are and back. Two hundred trillion. That's a big number. Um, it would take a lot. So there's a guy in Georgia that had five thousand dollars in pennies and it filled up his whole house. Really? really? Yeah. I was on a penny kick for a minute because there are valuable pennies you out there. You actually have an answer to this question. <laughs> yeah. I have all the useless information really you want. <laughs> so if five thousand dollars fills up a house in Georgia, mm -hmm. then it would be yeah, probably a couple million. Just right. for this. Just for this. Yeah. Just for, well no wait. Because fifty dollars is about this big at the bank, right? Is it fifty dollars? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You still doing those rolls? I don't even know. If yeah, you're... it's about this big. So if that's a brick, I'm thinking about this way too hard. Take him by the square feet. I like it. <laughs> Today I'm bamboozled. <bamboo's laughs> How many pennies can? Yeah. <laughs> Inside jokes. No, it's good. Inside jokes are great. All right, so we'll take a break in a second here. A penguin walks into the room wearing a sombrero. Why is he here, and what does he say? I'd be like, "What's up, cousin?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is he? What is he here for? Is that what yeah. What's he here for? He's here to help us make s'mores. Yeah, yeah. help make s'mores. Not very good. We broke two of them. Actually, I've got to say that, but I've never seen anybody make them with a, a third of a chocolate bar Dude, in this. So neither, neither I'm gonna like write my name on that one because that's gonna be the good one. Yeah. yeah. Like but who doesn't like s'mores, right? I mean, yeah, this everyone is, likes s'mores. This is usually, I don't think I've ever met anybody. Especially in the thing. summer, camping. You guys camp? Camp. Yeah, you know, we I know the right I, I of, Yeah, I go glamping. So, so glamping it's funny you notice. said that. Yeah, it's funny you said that because I've never been camping my whole life. Mm -hmm. And then, so last week I was off, and my oh, son was like, "Hey, let's go camping." So we booked it for Thursday and Friday of last yeah. week, which was 110 degrees here. Bad move. Well, yeah. it turns out <laughs> I got everything ready. My wife bought a tent. We got it an yeah. hour and a half from here. And the lady's like, "Listen." It's really hot, but we'll give you a, a cabin with air conditioning for the same exact price. Oh. Sold. So we ended it wasn't it was just a KOA, you know, just four yeah. bunk beds yeah. or whatever, but we had AC so at least nice. you could sleep at night. So I do know what glamping is. That's what nice. we ended up doing, yeah. I guess. That's my dad all the way. Cool. Wasn't planned that. I really wanted to, you know, get the full experience of being it, but not at 110. So uh, how would you rate my interviewing skills so far? Pretty good. Yep. Just good. Just pretty good. Just pretty good. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. Is that for, is that for really the pizza good. comment? Yeah. I was like, um, get some PTSD on the pizza. Oh no. <laughs> what do you think is the craziest story that's a craziest tour story? Oh, actually, let's change that. Okay. What do you think is the craziest onstage gear failure that you've had? Oh. Everybody's got them. This is a Every, funny. This is yeah, that's what I want. I want the this funny. Is, I don't mess up. He messes we up. We want the funny. <laughs> that's a funny question because my gear has been messing up for the last couple of shows. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, my bass has been, every time I, I'll play, my bass has been cutting out for the last couple of shows. So I'll be playing a song and like my bass will be like either on or sound really gross or just not there. So I'm like, yeah, look at me, I'm playing nothing. So it's really, that's not fun. No, that's, <laughs> it's not fun, but. My, uh, 
my wireless system in Brooklyn picked up a new, like a radio station once. Mm. Really? Was, like right in the middle of the show? Uh, the, <laughs> the beginning, but it was too late to like fix it, so we just had to play with the radio station. Our, our guitar players uh, during one of our shows, he was you know he goes crazy on stage, so he was like moving around. He hit his hand. And he's so buff that he knocked the head off of his, <laughs> off of his guitar. His Wait, guitar. the head actually snapped off? Yeah, the, the head of his guitar just like, just came off in the middle of the show. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he used this Thor hammer fist and he's like, just, yeah. And so I look down and there's what? Uh, so yeah, he's, he's here. <laughs> yeah, and he's me, like, yeah. And he goes like this. Yeah. And I go like this. And it was all done. And I just yeah. punched through his he guitar. Punched his guitar head clean off. Nice. Yeah. And that's your, you can't replace that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, we're, yeah. Somebody put a new neck on it, I guess. Eventually. Yeah, yeah, but we're just like can't really do nothing. New. Just no, not right now because we're on the road. Right. So, right. Yeah. Oh, what happened on this run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Interesting. Yeah. This nice. guitar is in full use now. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're just gonna throw these in the oven. You want to use your muscles? <sighs> <laughs> to rip the door. Uh, let's go for the middle rack. Just throw that in there. Again, this is a first for me. Usually I cook these on a stove top or campfire. So we're going fancy today. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, welcome back to Ben vs. Wild here. Got our smalls nice and golden brown. Look at that. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna cap them off now. Is that the correct term, capping you, them off? I guess. Capping them off. Do you, uh, do you squish it down or do you just like put it on? Um, I hate being sticky, so. Whatever is the cleanest, easiest way, because I'm a wimp. True. Whoa, I burned my finger. <laughs> he tried not to scream he just on, cried on, on camera. Just dying on the inside, it's like, cool. <laughs> you just hear like a tiny squeak. I'm like, I'm not a wimp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna put that on top of that. Right, can we fit them all? Alright. We could have a, like a Big Mac s'more. Yeah. Dude, who's gonna eat? Josh is gonna eat that one. Josh, look. <laughs> he won't break hard, bro. Oh, he's gonna break hard, say. <laughs> oh, I'm breaking. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Nice. Whoa. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that. Boom. It's gonna be so sticky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. So, here we are at my favorite part of the episode, and really the reason I do it, not to really meet fans or do anything, but <laughs> it's the food. So let's go ahead and try these and see what you guys came up with. You're like, I just wanted you guys to make me some That's it, I just want somebody to make me burn. <laughs> dessert right, breakfast. Oh, I oh, so, oh no, I messed it up. Yeah, you gotta do the Big Mac. Oh my. All right, there we go. Ooh, it's about oh, as decadent yeah, as you can get. It's all gooey. Oh, oh, you went for the one I want. Oh, for this one. Where was the wimpy one for me? <laughs> you get the gross one. <laughs> the one who doesn't like sticky is getting the, the grossest one of the, oh, there you go. You're sharing. Ooh, this is good. That one's got your name on it right there. S'mores with a beer. Oh, so sticky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Look at Daniel. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> or it's about as decadent as you can get. Ready? I got bit. Oh, I actually got the bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Backfired. <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to be Brian. There you go. There you go, Brian. Wow. These are good. You guys do a good job. These are really good. Consider me. really good. Doesn't take long to do it. You don't need to be outside camping with all the bugs. You could be glamping. And do it in your in your oven in your cabin, and you get something like that too. That's even better. This is the face of satisfaction. How would you describe the color yellow to somebody who's colorblind? Hmm. <laughs> you ever pee on your hand? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's like a lighter green. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, well, oh I know. Like can, I feel like if you get hit in your head and you see a flash, like wouldn't that be yellow? Yeah, kind of. I'll have to try it out. <laughs> Fuck. Let's start. I'll be like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe I would say something just dumb. Like, not even, it wouldn't even sound like, or be like the color yellow. It would just be like something ridiculous. Can't think of it though, but that's what it do. Alright, so we'll go around the room on this one one at a time. You're stranded on a deserted island. Oh, no. Got a solar powered CD player, however it works. Oh. What three records are you taking with you? CDs, whatever. I know, records, I'm sorry, I'm dating myself, but what three albums, CDs, records, oh, whatever you want to call them? Music. Right, take, yeah, oh, music, I, I, right, I, take them with you. Mm, mm, mm. If you got a first, go. Okay. Yeah, sure. It would be definitely As Cities Burn, Sun, I Love You at Your Darkest, Newfound Glory, Sticks and Stones, and Lincoln Park Hybrid 3. Nice. Mm. A little spread out there, but. Not even 
This one changes over time, I think. I think it changes for everybody over time because mine are probably not what they were you know, even last month. I can, I can go. I would, I would do, um, same in uh, Zach, but different album. I'd do As He's Burned, Come Now Sleep. Um, I would do This Will Destroy You, Tunnel Blanket. And I'd probably say, I'd probably do Under Oath to Find the Great Line. Just because it's... It's just, it's just go, I'm a go-to, a go-to album yeah. for me, you know? Oh no, Mike, you gotta go. I, I, I can't even think Come on, Mike. Alright. It's gotta be weird and random, though. So, one would be my record, so when I'm old and, and gross, and like, shriveled up, I can look <laughs> pathetic and be like, This is me! Can't you see it's me? <laughs> oh my god. Just to be like sad and pathetic, that'd be funny for me. Um, and then... <laughs> Which one? Good answer. Which one? Which one? Uh, yeah, which one? Your next one. Mm. Your next one. Whatever's the most story. recent one. <laughs> and then something random, like a soundtrack, like the Harry Potter soundtrack would be really cool, like mm. from John Williams, that'd be cool, just just because. And then <laughs> uh, probably, I don't know, uh, the Beach Boys or something, because I'm on the beach, so it'd be like, I'd have to live it. You know? And you want to chill sometimes, <laughs> and you can't be banging your head the whole time, right? Yeah, and I have my own record of head banging, and feel pathetic, but, so. <laughs> I can't think of albums. No? Okay. But I would do something with Def Leppard, uh, Billie Holiday, and then um, this uh, Surf Curse, which is another indie band. That's a nice, indie band, it's a nice so. mixture. Yeah, it's like kind of all over the place. All right, I know I probably said last one, but I got one more. No, that's fine. I'm well, do one. you remember, everyone's kind of got the aha moment. Do you remember the first record you ever bought, like, with your own money? <laughs> oh, it's not so young to you guys. So uh, mine was Diary of a Madman back in, I don't know, 83 or something. I don't know when that was, but... Mine weren't records. They were tapes for, like, a car. That works. And, uh, it was my... I begged my mom to take me to... There's a store called Media Play, which is, like, Best Buy. And we... We got the Spice Girls... <laughs> Spice Girls soundtrack. Or, yeah, Spice Girls soundtrack. And then from the movie. And then uh, Cindy Lauper because I watched The Goonies and I really like the song in The Goonies. Probably so. one of the best movies ever. Still. Yeah, my mom was very confused, but it was, <laughs> it was happy times. <laughs> so I remember being in probably elementary school or middle school and saving up my lunch money and giving it to my buddy to go buy me CDs because he lived <laughs> next to a Sam Goody. Sam Goody. <laughs> you know that. That's an old name. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> just like give him some of my lunch money and I think one of the first CDs I bought with my own money was it's kind of embarrassing it was either Smash Mouth Astro Lounge <laughs> classic <laughs> or the other one which is still a great album it was uh, Blink 182 Take Off the Pants and Jacket so okay those are one of the most recent that I, you know my mom got my CD for Christmas <laughs> my first CD I bought I'm pretty sure was Skillet's Collide album that was for a CD I ever bought with my That's own money. Right. I was raised a Christian rock kid, so yeah. It was all about that skill. Of life. Um, I mean, I was around LimeWire days. So I never bought Yeah, CDs. you never bought a CD. I never oh, bought yeah. a CD. You grew up in a different generation. Well, I remember illegally downloading like a lot of Nick and Park, Three Days Grace, and... Uh, well, well, they're going to come after us right now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you did Metallica on LimeWire? Yeah, on LimeWire. <laughs> it was, it was, a nasty it was like, okay. I know, like, it would be funny because, like, some of them would be, like... Some of them would be like recorded like through like like an actual Oh really? Phone. So you're downloading yeah. like so something that like, recorded all Yeah, something that it was recorded. It was like pirated like movies. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like that. Like I remember like like I actually like remember doing I would do that all the time. LimeWire was my So we played the song C yeah. player, they filmed it with a video camera. Yeah. And then uploaded that yeah. on yeah. the audio and it took that. <laughs> and then now I just have like I just have like Spotify and YouTube, so right. I I want to thank Convictions for coming out today. Hope you guys had a good time. Oh, what do you have going on next? Well, right now we're on tour with O Sleeper. Mm -hmm. We're just about the middle of August. Mm -hmm. Just put out a new song. Yeah, just put out a new song. Just Hurricane. Go check it out. Spotify. 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 And then we're uh, doing West Coast dates. We just announced some dates with Capture, The Crown, and Outline and Color. And then we hit the studio then in September. And then Europe in October. Nice. And, and Josh gets married. 
That's what he was talking about. A lot going on. Get yeah. married, then four days later, go to Europe. <laughs> so, a lot going on. <laughs> some rock style. Possibly new music in the works. Yeah. yeah. Definitely working Definitely. on some stuff. I don't know if we can say anything. And you guys are pretty active on social media, so if anybody out there cares off, they can give you guys a. Hit you yep, guys up yep. on social media. Convictions rock on everything. Yeah. Yeah. Convictions rock. Yep. Just Perfect. slide into the DMs. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. Yes. Oh, check the main Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be hanging. Place. That's Jeez, quite yeah. At least you caught it, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, guys. Yes. I appreciate it. Yeah. Be well. Thanks again for watching. Thanks, guys. Thank you.